Mallywag takedown is here and the Midnight has arrived. You want to make sure you have the right weapons to actually take on the boss and complete this? Well, today I'm going to tell you guys exactly what those weapons are. Esava, this is Lazybolt and welcome to today's video, guys. Today I'm going to tell you guys exactly what you will need to do and what weapons you're going to need in order to be able to take on this ruthless boss and to make sure you take them out super, super duper fast. Now, here are the weapons I believe are the best ones to use. Now, if you're trying to find a perfect build for these weapons or a build to actually solo or play the Maliwang Raid, then you're going to want to make sure you check out my videos. They are all linked in the description. Now, you guys are more than welcome to copy those uh, builds. And uh, we'll try to get those builds out for you guys. Now, I do have solo guides. I'll have solo guides for Amaro, Flagmos, and Zane. So if you want to check those out, let me know which character you'd like to see first. And we'll put that together for you guys. So, talking about weapons. What weapons do I recommend? Now, the majority of the weapons I'm going to recommend are based on anointment. So, you want to make sure that your weapons have some anointment that are going to buff you uh, whenever something happens, like an action skill end. And we'll go over that so real quick. So, first weapon I want to recommend, of course, is the Maggie. Maggie is your best friend, especially if you have the Terror Anointment. Deal 50% bonus cryo damage. Extremely, extremely powerful. This is what makes this super easy due to the fact that you're going to be able to output a ton of damage. And all that damage is coming from you being able to apply Terror to yourself. So it's very important that you get a Maggie with that Terror effect of the cryo damage. The next weapon, which is going to be your best friend, is the Brainstormer. Now, there is a, a very... Bra this Brainstormer I have right here has Terror Effect. Uh, it's going to deal 50% bonus crowd damage when I'm terrified. Now, there is a couple options here. If you have one that says, while terrified, shoot an extra projectile, uh, that one's actually pretty good as well. So, if you have that one, you're going to want to make sure you have that one as well. But there is another Brainstormer that instead of a times 7 it has a times 11 that is the one you really, really want because that one is extremely, extremely powerful. So if you do have that one, sharing is caring. Hook me up, boys. Let me know in the comment section down below or hit me up on Discord. Next weapon, of course, is the Cutsman. Now, the Cutsman is going to be crucial for you guys uh, for this one. And uh, you want to make sure that it has this anointment on action skill. And weapon damage is increased by 100% for a short period of time. Really important, this allows you to two-clip his shield. It allows you to bring down his health really fast. So you want to make sure you have this, and you also want to make sure you're actually proccing this every single time. So it's extremely important that you get this one completed. The next one is you want another Cutsman with shock damage. This basically to bring down his shield, and you want it with this anointment on action skill end. Weapon damage is increased by 100%, or you could do it with the action skill end. The next two magazines will have a 50% additional bonus corrosive damage so not only is this going to shoot the shock but also corrosive so really really important these are all swappable whichever one you feel you're more comfortable with the next weapon i want to recommend is the crossroads the crossroads actually pretty good as well and you want to make sure this one's also with on action skill and uh you want to make sure you have additional corrosive damage or extra weapon damage so really important you also want a fire cutsman. As you guys see, cutsmans are going to be your main focal point because they do a ton of damage and they're extremely powerful. And you're going to primarily just going to be using your Maggie and your Brainstormer the majority of the time. But this is another really good weapon to have and pick up. And last but not least, guys, you want to make sure you have a grenade, a recurring hex uh, that gives you terror. Or you also want to make sure you get the the you know the skull one, the glass call. That one's actually really, really good, especially for the end time of the boss. Really important. Overall, in general, these are like the best weapons. You basically are almost the only weapons you need. Uh, you could go with a rocket launcher. Uh, you could also go with a different uh, hand cannon. But overall, in general, these are the main weapons that you want to be use when using when you're doing this. This is going to be for crowd control. And the majority of the time, you're just going to be using this weapon in particular to clear out a bunch of ads and throwing your grenades. And then you're going to use your Maggie to kind of finish people off. And this, two, these right here are mostly used for boss fighting. So you're going to use those the primary of the time. But the most one you want, of course, is the Brainstormer. And there you guys have it. Those are the best weapons. If there's a weapon that I didn't mention that you guys would like me to add in here, let me know what it is. And I'll be more than happy to do it. Oh, actually, there is. There is. There is. There is a weapon. This one right here, which is a shocking A. This is really good for shields, guys. So for some reason, 
you face grass or you got your people and you're doing the crowd control and you're done with that one you could use the shock and awe it's a really really good weapon to pick so definitely recommend you guys pick that up and there you guys have it those are the best weapons you can have let me know in the comment section down below if there's any other one you have i did pick this one up which is an exclusive weapon i'm going to be testing out and doing a review on so let me know if you guys have gotten or you haven't and what are your thoughts so far in as far as the raid thank you guys for watching and i will catch you guys on the next video